Now this is one of the most best selling bomber jackets on the internet. Year after year I've seen ads for this. Different websites sell these jackets at different prices ranging from about $15 to $50. I bought one online recently from the source that these companies get it from, worth $15 or closer to $50. Let's get started. This is the package I received. It's a relatively simple packet and it's most likely what you're going to receive as well when it comes in the mail. Again, all of these websites get this item from the same source. So this is likely what you're going to receive. Let's do an unboxing right now and see what it looks like. Here we have the jacket. I purchased the wine color. It's like purplish red. So let's look at this. Now, looking at it through the packaging material, it looks good. So far, it looks good. The color looks rich and it doesn't feel too bad. Now I bought an extra large because of the sizing chart. Most of these are sold in Chinese sizes. So when you're buying this, make sure you look at the measurements themselves, the exact centimeters or inches described there, more so than the sizes like small, medium, large, or extra large. This one is an extra large, but it's about 44 centimeters across the chest, which is my regular size, which is like a medium. It's a simple zip here, like with food storage bags. Now this feels like polyester, which it likely would be because Bomber jackets are supposed to be made from materials similar to parachute. They were initially made for the army or for the air force, so it's expected. Now I already see some threads by the side here, which I'll show you in detail. In here we have this flag here, this strip with red, white, and blue. And that's nice. That gives it a nice look and texture, gives it some diversity of color. Now the jacket itself is not very thick, it's re relatively light, but this is good because you can wear this in the spring or in the summer. When we look down here at the zipper, now this is likely one of the regular cheap zippers. It says the word Vogue on it. This zipper would last for a little while, but not too long. So expect to have to change this if you buy this within about a year or so, but it's okay for if we're looking at the downside of this at $15, then so far, this looks very, very good. This is a steal at $15. And we have the same pockets here made of polyester. And over here on the arm, you see that it has a zipper as well. Is this a functional zipper? Yes, it is. So you can put something in here and you can put a pen or something else in here as well. Now observe that on the side here, you have some workmanship issues. Here you see the thread still hanging out, which is which indicates that the sewing wasn't very, very good or sturdy. Secondly, if you look at the sewing here, you see the same indication. There's only one trail of sewing here, not two. To make this very sturdy and last a long time, you need to either double stitch, that's the word I'm looking for. There's only one trail of stitching and it's not double stitched. And the stitching distance is very wide as well. So that means that it's not well sewn on this it will likely begin to tear or get loose over time this is the marks holder design in nigeria we call them flashes but this is where it would hold the flashes if this was removable or detachable but this one is sewn in there so it stays but it's a good design feature now here on the neck you have a mandarin color design this is very common with military style uniforms regular uniforms or jackets so this is expected and it looks good as well. You can see that there are four or five different stripes here, a good design touch. And you can start seeing the red, white, and blue design I spoke about earlier. Now this doesn't have any logos on it. I expect that any version of this that you buy will not have a logo here. Again, their source is the same. So whatever you see here is likely what you're going to get. But the back of this looks pretty good. In fact, I wish they had used this design on everything back here. That would give it more character. Right now, I can already tell you that this is definitely worth $15. It's worth more than $15. If I paid up to $20, $25 for this, 
it would be a fair price. But is it worth 50? Well, let's look at the inside and decide. So if I open this up, you see that zipper I'm talking about? It's not gonna last very long. And wow, I like this. So I was talking about them putting this, they decided to put it in here instead. And this looks good. It goes very well with the wine inside here. They use the wine color here to trail on this. And so the inner pocket has it as well. Now again, the sewing isn't very good as you can see. The stitching here is not well done. You can use a pair of scissors to take some of these out, but the details, the workmanship is not very good. So this will likely not last very long, but is it still worth more than $15? Yes. Anyone who is interested in fashion and design, and by that I mean lay people fashion, not like high fashion. Anyone interested in lay design and lay fashion would like this, it's a good touch. And with this red, white, and blue here, that's good as well. But you can see the stitching too as well. Now, if I'm paying up to $50, at the very least, I'll expect that these threads will not be hanging out as they are. I may not expect high-end fabric or materials, but I will expect that these threads are not sticking out. And I'll expect this jacket to be slightly, slightly thicker than it is. Right now, this is strictly a fashion accessory. You can't wear this when you're cold. You'll just keep freezing. More of the threads, more of the threads. Is it worth $50? I'm not there yet, but I'm at $30. According to this, this is, I'm guessing, I can't speak Chinese, but I'm guessing this is 95% polyester and 5% cotton. Overall, what do I think? Overall, I think that so far, this jacket looks good. Now, what is it worth? Is it worth $15? Yes. Is it worth more than $15? Is it worth $20? Yes. $25? Yes. Would I say $30? Definitely. Is it worth $35? Now we're getting to the high end of what I think this is worth. I would say at $35, it would meet my expectation. It would be okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be excited about the purchase because it's at the high end of what I think it's worth, but I think it's okay. Now, when we get to $40, no, I don't think this is worth $40. I don't think this is worth $45. It could be if it was slightly thicker than it is but it's not. It could be if it was better sewn, but it's not. It could be if there was some kind of decent branding on it, because a lot of fashion is the branding. You want to wear something that you believe you know the source and you trust the source and you like the source. With this one, you have no idea what the source is, regardless of the company you bought this from. So for $40, for $40 still very high. I don't think it's worth $40. I don't think it's worth $45. And so, I don't think it's worth $50 either. Overall, I think it's a nice jacket. Now, what did I spend on this? I spent $15. I bought this directly from the source. And for the $15 I bought it, it's a very, very good deal. If I had bought this for $25, it would be okay as well. But for the money I bought this, it's awesome. If you want to see more of this, leave a comment as well and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.